and good morning everyone cyclone here from psyche prides instagram facebook and youtube like follow and share all that fun stuff so i have finally completed my bridge pier possibly a bank fishing also wagon um this is the mac sports extended xl extended WTCX-100 wagon um, and I actually like this wagon out of all the wagons that don't have the beach wheels on them um, but let me tell you something about Max Sports reached out to them across all social media to ask them if they sold replacement wheels because let's face it Plastic wheels eventually will fail. And finally they told me no. They do not sell replacement wheels. And the way these wheels are on this wagon, I don't see a way to possibly replace them. So basically, God forbid, these wheels, if you have a Max Sports XL wagon, it's trash. Um... There's really nothing else to say about it. But what I really like about this wagon more than anything is its size. It is more than 50 inches in length, which gives you lots of size. It's uh, 18 by 11 are the other dimensions. So like I said, space is the top thing that the Max Sports WTCX-100 XL Extended Wagon has. If you are just going to use it for the beach, if you're just going to use it for shopping and doing errands, this is the wagon you're going to want. But like I said, I'm using it for beach, I mean for uh, pier and bridge fishing mostly. And I'm going to break down what I've done to it, how I've modified it for my likings. Um, let's start with the rod holders. Normally, I would make my own rod holders out of PVC, but because this is the granddaddy of them all, I had to buy them. This, I have uh, a possible eight, count them, eight rods this thing holds, and they're the my large uh, saltwater rods, so the biggest one I have is eight foot six inches tall. Plenty of room for them. Um, let's just also do a quick pan of what's going on. I also put on the back of this my own personalized license plate. There you see the license plate. Give you a large version. Just a quick pan of what's going on with it and like I said I really do like this wagon with the exception of reaching out to them is a pain in the butt and there you have it that's a quick pan um like I said um I had to buy the rod holders I bought a four rod holder for the back and two two rod holders I did for the front. Now normally when I do my pier and bridge fishing, I'll bring a good five, six, seven rods. Haven't really brought all eight yet, but you never know. Um and I only have four on here just to show you as an example of what this does. As of course now the kids are going to school. Um, okay. The first modification I did, and despite all this room that it has, I wanted it to hold an extra chair. So I built a... Uh, foldable chair holder and it's the chair I did the other video on you could go you know find it and click on it and watch that video 
but here is the final pro product and it is triple bungeed on each side on PVC on bolted through wood now let me just pop this chair off so you could see what the brace looks like pull this over there for a minute and that is the bracket this bracket is really really strong like I said I have two bungees going through the bottom right here obviously cut the ends off and then heated them up to make them solid tied them on using Palomar knots of course the top you can't really lock it because you need it a little loose to reach to the top so I have this top bungee attached to one of the rod holders zip ties so it's on pretty solid as is obviously the other side now might as well get into the wheel situation um, like I said I just don't like that they don't sell wheels how do you sell a product and don't sell replacement parts I I just don't understand how that's humanly possible, how you don't sell replacement parts to an item you sell. Max Sports, I'm telling you, do it. People that buy your wagons need wheels. So, here are the wheels that are not replaceable. And you can see how the bungees from the rod, uh, the zip ties from the rod holders I have attached to the top and the bottom of the frame of the wagon. So these things are on really tight. They're not going anywhere. Um, <coughs> what else do I have? Okay. I have my full tackle bag with all my belongings in it. And what I'll normally do is I will lock it with this green bike lock right here to the frame as well as either to a piece of the bridge or a piece of the pair the metal extensions just so nobody's taking anything how everything is attached to each other um have my tackle uh my tackle my uh catch bucket which is a 28 ounce igloo container I love these things the, the, you don't really need a Yeti igloos are fine and good enough um, but that's on solid my pair and bridge net with 200 lines 200 yards of extra line which is way 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 more than enough than you need um, and also attached to the frame I have my uh, acrylic bump board that I had made from thanks to the guys at Tap Plastics in California and you can see once again I have it chained up here you go I have it chained up to a zip tie and the frame so anything I catch I know is legal so I'm not getting hit by any fines from the game wardens um, the other thing I have on the opposite side is 
if I'm going to bring this to a bank, which I'm really not planning on using this for the bank fishing, I'm really using this for, like I said, bridge and pair fishing. Um, I would love to use it for surf fishing, but A, I'm not doing any surf fishing, and B, I don't think these wheels could handle the sand, quite frankly. But, just in case, I do have a 15 inch spike that I have attached to the bottom of the frame of the wagon and quite frankly just dig it in and it's not going anywhere. The wind won't take it. A per if a person wanted to rip this off, he's going to have to go through hard times to get this whole thing out. So, like I said, the toughest thing to do was to make the, uh, the chair rack. And there is room for another chair in here, which, which is good in case someone wanted to come with me, which I hope they do, because I don't like fishing alone. But, um, it's two one and a half inch double Y's, uh, PVC cemented onto a one and a half inch by three foot piece of PVC. I have end caps on it, drilled two holes, drilled actually three holes on each side, bolted them through this piece of, uh, one by eight by six piece of wood, uh, pine wood that I cut down. Um, JB welded it to it, and not only that, but as you can see, I did some JB welding just enough to keep it on really tight and not let it go anywhere. And then three 36 inch white zip ties. So it's on solid. It has the zip ties, it has the bolts, it has the JB weld. It's going to take a lot to rip this off. Certainly a lot less than the 8 pound chair weighs. Um, yeah, I think that's a quick wrap. Really simple. Um, like I said, Max Sports Wagons are really nice, with the exception of the wheels. That's the only problem. So, um, went over the rods, the reels, the rod holders, which, honestly, I really hate buying rod holders and not making my own, but, like I said, this project just called for needing the extra size and strength. Um... Yeah, the tackle bag has everything I need. Um, my catch. Pier net. Yeah. So, if you go pair and bridge fishing, the only other thing I could say is have all your stuff intertwined and locked together. You can see all in the corners, everything is locked into each other. This way, nothing is going anywhere. With the exception, obviously, of the bridge and pair net because that will have to be thrown over the side to pull in larger catches which hopefully there will be many of but not this year thanks to all my injuries um so when am i going to post another video i don't know but in the meantime psyche prods facebook youtube instagram like follow share do all that fun stuff and um once again and i and i might you know Post a link somewhere for the Max Sports wagon that I got. Um, it is a good wagon for anything that you 
aren't worried about wheels. Um, so until next time, this is Cyclone. Once again, like, follow, share, Psyche Prods, Instagram, Facebook, tw- Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. And until next time, Cyclone saying, bye, peoples. <laughs>